information in this module is accurate and complete to the best of our knowledge. All recommendations are made without guarantee on the part of the author or the sponsoring institutions. The author and the sponsoring institutions disclaim any liability in connection with the use of this information. As you finish this module, you will be able to distinguish the differences between observations and experimentation. Let's begin by defining what is an observation. When you observe a system, you are not manipulating any variables of the system. In observation, we use our different senses to see how a system or a phenomenon works. Different examples of systems you can observe can be the weather, natural processes, or manufacturing processes. What is an experiment? In an experiment, we manipulate different variables to see how they will behave and affect the system. By creating an experiment and changing different variables, we can Eliminate unnecessary variables in the process Identify the main problem or problems of a process Significantly improve a process Example, we want to know how much an average person takes to shower. In this case, we only need to observe how much time the person takes to shower. This is an example of observation. But what if we want to reduce the showering time to save water? To achieve this, we are going to change the water temperature to see in which temperature the person takes less time to shower. Looking at our data, we can observe that the person took more time in hot water than in cold water because hot water was more comfortable. This is an experiment example because we changed the temperature variable to make the process better. Thank you for your time and I hope you join us for the remaining modules in the series.